Tuberculous meningitis is a serious bacterial infection of the cerebrospinal fluid, and up to one-third of patients die despite treatment. Therapy for tuberculous meningitis is based on data for pulmonary tuberculosis, but the standard treatment may not achieve sufficient drug concentrations in cerebrospinal fluid. The standard treatment consists of pyrazinamide, ethambutol, isoniazid, and rifampin at 10 mg per kilogram per day for three months, followed by isoniazid and rifampin for six months. In this study, investigators asked whether using a higher dose of rifampin and adding levofloxacin could improve outcomes in tuberculous meningitis. At two medical centers in Vietnam, 817 patients with tuberculous meningitis were randomized to receive either the standard treatment or intensified treatment. For the first eight weeks, patients in the intensified treatment group received the standard treatment plus levofloxacin, with their dose of rifampin increased to 15 mg per kilogram per day. All patients received adjuvant dexamethasone. About 43% of the patients were HIV positive. There was no difference between the two groups in nine-month mortality rates. 113 patients died in the intensified treatment group as compared with 114 patients in the standard treatment group. And there were no differences based on patients' HIV status. The overall number of adverse events did not differ between treatment groups. Thus, intensified treatment with higher dose rifampin in the standard regimen plus levofloxacin did not improve outcomes in patients with tuberculous meningitis. Full study results are available at NEJM.org.